Hey everybody, welcome to Painting Happy Little Minis, where we you know we paint miniatures happily. I have uh, a couple guests here. I'm Rick, and I've got Linnea and Lucas, my offspring, <laughs> here to help paint today. So what are we painting? Do you guys know? A worm. You're painting a worm? <laughs> and what are you painting, Linnea? Um, something interesting. Something interesting? Okay, so these are miniatures from Cthulhu Wars by Peterson Games. Uh, I am painting this blobstrosity. Uh, not really sure what it is, but it's going to be disgusting as a lot of these creatures are just kind of like things of nightmare, yeah? So I'm doing this one, and uh, put yours up there, Lucas. Right. He's kind of doing a tremors worm, it looks like. or Worm. Yeah, a worm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of cool. I think that one's going to be fun uh, once it's all said and done. Hopefully. And then Linnea, let's go and put yours up there as well. The uh, okay. Stranger Things meets uh, the four-armed gorilla. Harambe. <laughs> 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 this, is what, this is what Harambe's afterlife looks like? Yeah. Cool. He didn't go to heaven. No. Oh. He, went straight to, he went straight to Cthulhu's lands? Yeah. Okay. Or Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so they, they don't get an opportunity to paint very often uh, because I hoard all the paints and miniatures at my house. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some base coating. We're going to use some of the uh, Citadel colors, and then I'm going to ask them a lot of embarrassing questions as dads are wont to do. So, <clears throat> so just grab the colors you want to use and get to it. A single, paint of, a single coat of paint is going to prove extremely difficult for me. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly difficult. Let me see the brush you picked out. This one. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. And Linnea's been doing some painting on her own late recently, right? Yeah. What have you been painting? Uh, cartoon characters. Yeah. What was the last ones you did? Um, Lisa Simpson. Nice. And what kind of paint are you using to make to do that? Acrylic. Acrylic. Any particular brand? Nope. You know? Is it like the Apple Barrel you can get at Walmart? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Well, that doesn't help any. Well, that's the end of that interview. On <laughs> uh, <I'm> to Lucas. <laughs> you could have shaved me a bit more time with it. Nope. Yeah. Hmm. So, Linnea, you've had an opportunity to do uh, a lot of sports this past year, right? Yeah. Yeah? And what, what's the sport you've been playing? Volleyball. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that. I'm a middle front hitter. Okay. And um, I play for school and travel. And we went to nationals on my travel team nice. this year. And what is a, what's the difference between school and, and travel? Uh, travel, you play with a bunch of people from uh, other schools. Okay. So, um, just new people. But right. school is just all people that you go to school with, obviously. Obviously, yeah. And where did you travel to this year uh, for your tournaments? Maryland. Um, in North Carolina and yeah. Florida. Nice. What? No, well, exactly. It <laughs> looks fine. No, there's paint dripping your pool. Okay, well, when, uh, if it's pooling like that, buddy, just grab it with the brush and pull it up into these other spots. What? Oh, I think I got it. See how many people are watching us. Wow, 3,800 people are looking at us. <laughs> Dang. I'm kidding. There's not that many. Okay, but uh, let's say hi to everybody. We've got Jack and uh, who's that on? Who's that right there, buddy? Can you read that? Is that Richard? Uh, I don't know. Can you read it? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah we need glasses all around. All around the glasses. Oh, it looks like you don't have perfect vision. <laughs> I didn't say perfect vision. Just not bad enough to need glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Uh, say so hi to Walter and Craig and Mike Becker and Michael Harris and Seth. Um, you're pretty serious about your eyesight, buddy. Oh yeah, uh, Josh. Uh, <laughs> so Josh over at Mini Painting Studios has uh, kind of like online adopted me, 
and his his statement is when your dad has his second family with him but never invites you. <laughs> LOL. LOL. <laughs> so, uh, Drew's here. Ooh, Brian, or Byron, Lucas. Did Dad buy fireworks yet? Nope. Dad does not buy fireworks. As far as I know. The only fireworks we'll be having on the 4th of July are Far From Home, Spider-Man. Yes. And some Stranger Things. That's about it. Craig says, can't do Citadel paints. Oh Carl says, hi. I'm the Craig says, I shouldn't be dissing the Apple Girl. I wasn't. I just was, I, I think that's what she's using for like her, what she's been painting currently is Apple Barrel, non-miniature non painting. James is, a, hey everyone, how's y'all doing? Hey James, uh, I thought we told Johnny Rose he couldn't watch anymore. He's watching. And then Josh says, what's up? So everybody's, everybody's here. All of our, our viewers or our regulars are watching. So. Some things I've learned this so far since my kids have been with me since Sunday. You're old. Um, you don't keep up with the times. I I have to you know learn vicariously through you all how certain things work. Like there's this uh, platform called what's it called TikTok. <laughs> so Great. apparently they both like that, mm. and that's a thing. So what is it that you like on it, Linnea? Um, the dances. Okay, when people do dances. Yeah. Okay, Lucas. What do you? What, what about TikTok? Is it that you like? Uh, the memes and the art. Memes and art. And the old people. And the <laughs> that's what you like. Lots of pedos on that app too. Well, we don't need to talk about that. Yeah. Just don't Jesus. like mentioning it. Yeah. Yeah, you'd fit right in. Jesus. Oh. Um. I'm sorry, Dad. Yeah. Don't. That's not right. Um. <laughs> so. When you say artwork on that platform, what um, what kind of artwork do you look at? Uh, there's not really a specific genre of art. No? Well, I know you like anime. Yeah. There's a lot of anime art on TikTok. Some. Yeah? You could be very nice answers, huh? Huh? Very. Yeah, good. you're very informative. I yeah. know. You guys are great. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Okay. So I'm just doing a base coat on mine with Flesh Terror Red. What color are you using on yours? Uh, Dark Oath Flesh. Dark Oath Flesh. Okay. Yeah. Lene, what are you using? I don't know how to pronounce it. Talisar Blue. Lene's voice has changed. Tell us our blue. I don't, I don't like speaking right. on this uh, in front of God. cameras or people. What? So you I like watching do dances. Do you practice, do you TikTok dances out to people, uh, Linnea? I don't know what you're talking about. No? no I'll, mm -mm. Show, I'll display one of her dances. You don't even do it right. What are you talking about? That's exactly what you do. No, it's not. It's not? No. You should do it then. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Change my mind. Do I need any more brown? Let's see. Which kind of one? Um, like right down here? You see there? That spot? I do. But yeah. if I brush that place, it's going to be but overwhelming. You, well, you don't have to brown. dip it all the way into the... I, well, I was... Left and if you get too much paint on there, you can wipe it off on the, t on the tissue there. Oh. Like, oh. Well, that's a... Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, Lynette. I'm new to this. You've done, done it before. before. I've done it before, but I forgot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did so you get that little spot? And plus, you can get a, grab a smaller brush. No, smaller brushes are for the weak. <laughs> I know people that would agree with that. <laughs> I'm looking at your brush, Dad. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, um... So some other things I've learned is they love their cell phones. Very much. Always. I think they're actually going through withdrawals because they can't have them on, on camera right now. What? Your, your cell phone? Don't you, you miss it? I do. A little bit. <laughs> Instead I have to talk to you. And Linnea. 
Yeah, harsh. I'm not talking to you. Oh, you right. just did. Right. Whoops. Is that enough, Brown? Um, spin it. Let me see the rest of it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So you're going to want to let it dry a little bit? All right. Uh, yeah, dip it in there and if you push it down, you, you, there's ridges on the bottom to help catch to clean it. Mm. Stirring my coffee. How's yours coming there, Linnea? Blue. Yeah, it's blue. PTSD plus fireworks equals bad times all around. Yep. Yes, I am grilling my kids for your entertainment. <laughs> Fun. I could start roasting you for their entertainment, Dad. Oh, really? How about that? How about that? <laughs> Pretty enjoyable show. Uh, Dave says that the kids are giving as good as they get. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're enjoying you guys being savage. One of us. Yeah. So I, I started before the show kind of showing the, every, uh, Lucas and Linnea what we were going to be doing by base cheating. coating this one. So while this one dries, I'll put some other paint on here. Cool. So, what anime are you watching right now, Lucas? Um, I haven't really been watching any anime recently. Mostly because no. I'm waiting for new episodes to come out. I've been watching more on YouTube. More YouTube? Yeah. And what, what, uh, like what kind of YouTube stuff? Minecraft? Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes. So what kind of, so when you watch YouTube, and you're watching Minecraft videos, like what kind of content are you trying to get there? Just entertainment. <laughs> that entertains you. <laughs> what? That's no, like I, the best game. I, I get, I get that. But like, are you getting information that you're going to use when you play the next time you play, or is it? Yeah, like or, building techniques and okay, such. that kind of stuff. So that, that's what I was kind of looking for. Most entertainment, though. Like, is it the individuals that are doing the builds that you find entertaining, or is it? Well, the um, usually I kick, I kick. Oh my God! Click on creators that I enjoy watching, and a few mm -hmm. of them specialize in building, so I just okay. watch them when they do that. And who are some of those creators? Um, well, I'm gonna be honest. There's only one that I watch that does building. His name is Green. Okay. The other ones, they they just mess around. All right. And as far as content creators for entertainment, who do you like to watch? Uh, PewDiePie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And why? Because um, it's, it's, he's funny and it's fun to laugh at. When he called a watermelon a cactus in his garden in similar moments as that, where okay. he's clueless as to what's going on around him. <laughs> okay. Like somebody I know. <laughs> Okay, so what? Can um, I help you? If you're not watching my, uh, Minecraft videos, what are some other kind of content do you like to watch? And do you leave comments on these videos, or you just watch them? I just watch them. Okay. So what are they? What are some other ones? Uh, uh um, Gmod videos. What's Gmod? It's a sandbox game. Uh, you do stuff. <laughs> like what? I mean, what, what's the... Um, there's a few game modes. I watch a certain creator um, play Prop Hunt, where he... Well, kinda well, explain it. What's Prop Hunt um, for, for all the viewers watching? We're trying to understand what it is that is uh, entertainment. I'm just trying to formulate my words real quick. Okay. So there are two teams, the <coughs> hunters and the props. The props have to go around the map and they can transform into um, items laying around the map and they have to hide for a <coughs> duration of time from the hunters okay. and without being caught. And if the props um, last 
the amount of time they win. Okay. If the hunters eliminate all the props before the time runs out, they, then they win. win. Okay. Right. <coughs> That's interesting. And is it a pretty like basic graphic game like Minecraft? Um, it's not going to be like Call of Duty level graphics, right? Well, it's yeah. Well, it's it's more realistic okay. than Minecraft, not cubic or whatever. Okay. But it's not the graphics aren't really good. It's a pretty <laughs> old game. Okay. That makes sense. I'll start asking Linnea questions. I'm going to. How, how is, how's yours coming along, Linnea? How's, how's the uh, four, forearm simian? If you say blue. It's pretty blue. Oh, sad. Sad simian has the blues. It's more blue than before. Mm. So, Linnea, you're on Instagram all the time, right? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> the explore page is pretty interesting. There's a lot of Shrek. A lot of Shrek? That's an old meme. I have a... <laughs> album on my camera roll for a Shrek that I send to people. Okay. And what kind of um, <laughs> what kind of influencers or follow people do you follow on there? Mm. James Charles. <laughs> you know. Um, like just musicians that I like. Okay. Is there any musicians that you're like extremely uh, fond of that you that you follow uh, everything they put up? Pretty much. Yeah, well, the who, band. Oh, there's a band called Pretty Much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen them in concert? Yep. How many times? I saw them in November, and I'm seeing them on July 19th. So, like a week from now. Yeah, week basically. And a half. Yeah. Jesus, those guys. Mm -hmm. Those guys. Okay. So you're going to go watch them. And what about, their, what kind of music do they do? Uh, popular music. Pop music? Yeah. And I don't know. Hmm. I don't know the genre. Mm -hmm. The only yep. time I've heard of them is when you've brought them up. Are they on the radio? One of their songs has been on the radio. But they're still kind of new. And where are they getting their like uh, notoriety or fame from? Is it YouTube? Is it? They opened uh, for Khalid not that long ago. Okay. Interesting. Khalid is a singer. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was a DJ like DJ Marshmallow or anything like that. I wasn't sure. Cool. How's yours looking over there? Let me take a look at it. Brown. Let's see if it's dried up. Or you can start put, putting some other colors on it. So that right there is really got a lot on it. So as you can see, when you're see with the heavy pulling, if you want to lessen it, you just kind of dapple it to get it out of there. So. It, it will dry a little faster and yeah. There we go. Yeah. How do you feel about that? What are you gonna put in the in the uh, insides? What color? No idea. Probably just an eeny meeny miny mo or something. <clears throat> How about? Do I put this up there? Mm -hmm. Blood Angel Red. You want to do that? Sure. I wouldn't use that big brush. I'd use... Like this? I wouldn't leave it in there either. Like this one. You stole my brush. There you go. Uh, it says, Hi, it's okay, guys. It isn't necessary for painting. This is true. Are these the few contrast paints? Yes, they are. The, uh, the new contrast paints. Also, uh... They're, they're loving the exchange between you and I, Lucas. Linnea, I really like Linnea's kind of holding back, I think. Linnea, you better start talking more. No, thank you. Have you watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I've watched some of it. Not very much. I want to start watching it, though, because I hear it's really good. Okay. 
Carrie asked if they said uh, recommends it for you. Is that a JoJo reference? Uh, Dragon Prince. We watched that. You and I watched that. Oh, that's one with the dragon egg. Oh, right, yeah. right, I remember. Um, James says he's thinking about doing a Blood Bowl team in contrast paints. I would love to see that. <laughs> Craig says, my kids also like to watch other people play games that they own and could play themselves. <laughs> I don't own Gmod. It's a game mode on Black Ops. What is? Prop Hunt? Yeah. That's, Prop Hunt isn't exclusive to Gmod. Okay. That's what I watch and play on Gmod. Okay. I also play on Black Ops. It's Jojo, so yeah, yeah. I think people want want you to watch uh, Jojo's Bizarre. Well, then I guess I have to. Yeah, huh? you have to. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I've seen them. I think. Is that good? Have I gotten enough of it off? Let me see. Yeah, that's good. And then dry it off. Dry your brush off or rinse it off to get the brown out, dry it off on the paper towel, and then uh, I, oh, I didn't put it on the, uh, on the paper towel. Actually dry it off by doing that. And then you can use that, that brush to put the red in the open, open. Which brush? The brush I just dried off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys want to look at some minis? That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, so a lot of the miniatures that you guys are seeing now are from members of our Facebook group called Painting Happy Little Minis. Uh, Dave here did some golems with some, uh, was it object source lighting effects going on? Those look like the golems from um, Rune Wars, which are really awesome. They look great. Robert Malik with uh, uh, Brendan Tully from uh, Age. Uh, um, Song of, Song of Ice is Fire by uh, Kaman. It looks really good. Tully's doll died. <laughs> uh, Brad with a WizKids dragon. That's the, is that the same one I painted that you took a picture of today? Oh. Yeah. I it's, thought so I so it's the green actually. dragon from uh, WizKids. His looks way better than mine. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you gotta. I gotta step up my game. Get good. I gotta get good. <laughs> All right. Uh, bones for uh, Crocagator and Etten. That Crocagator, the where it goes from the greens to the brown, it looks amazing. What's that? How's that Etten look? The Etten right there, the giant. Linnea, look pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Twinsies. I like it. Like looking in the mirror. Oh my. Uh, William West with a uh, looks like a barbarian or a Viking with a big axe, and I can't see what's in the. In the Viking's hands there. What's uh, it? Medusa's head. Is it Medusa's head? Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Jason, 3D printed stone giant by Duncan Shadow. Dang. I would fight that. Orion Frost would fight that. I thought you would fight that. Uh, no. You might stand a chance. I like the, the, the fact that it's about to hurl that boulder. At you. What about you, Linnea? Did you fight it? No. She'd no. spike it. At Pass. She'd spike that bullet. Teddy uh, Zartler with a work in progress. Um, I am not sh Is that a, is that a piglet on the left? Yes, a pig, All but right. blue like Linnea's art thing. And I can't tell what the other creature is, but it looks pretty awesome. Uh, the fire giant dreadnought by Jeff Lee. That's cool. Yeah. Um, this is a sick miniature. Lynette, thanks uh, for contributing to this. When you look at it, the the big more. shields, uh, it was put together look like double doors that like could be in a hallway, and then it could burst out and just wreck stuff. Then you can see. And I like the the fact that it looks like it's molten lava, and iron going on there. It's cool. Jordan with a Reaper Elven Ranger, nice. Is it if uh, if Jordan, if you're watching, is this from Bones Four? Because uh, I don't think I got this miniature. But that one looks yours. Your paint job on that is amazing. Good job. 
Chris Gorka, the second group of Death Shroud Terminators. So Chris has been working on these for a hot minute and they have all looked amazing. And uh, yeah, these just look so good. What do you think, Linnea? You think his, his paint jobs are pretty good? Yeah. Hmm? Cool. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see that far. Good job, Chris. I'm really, really blind. Uh, Kimberly Powers, uh, this looks like this looks like a reaper dragon. Remember that blue one that I had last night that I have to finish, the little one? Mm -hmm. I think it's the same exact dragon. I do not. Actually. But this one looks, again, that looks way better than mine. Everybody in the group paints so well. Uh, but Kimberly, that looks amazing. Kristen Darby with Blackstone Fortress. I want to say that this was the completed, all the completed mo mo models. Uh, and they all look freaking ridiculously good. Hey, Dad, where'd you put that brown? I missed a spot. Uh, right here. What do you think of those ones, Lena? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. We'll look at this one. Brian's Reaper Bones, Caligook Troll King. That's a long name. You like that one? The one with yeah. It? Yeah. What about it? Do you like? It looks intense. It looks intense. His immense sexiness. Intense. Next. <laughs> Would you date him? Cool. Carl with a uh, Bones Four Warrior. Oh, that looks so good, Carl. Good job. I like the uh, the runes on the sword, and uh, your your uh, metallics look amazing, and that face so good. Good job, Mike Becker. Stuff I have recently completed. I'm guessing these are uh, these are Warhammer, and I do not know Warhammer very well, but they look amazing. I look like I just killed a man. <laughs> did you? You got the red all over your hands. I did. Uh, the but one with like the sword I, up in the air looks amazing. I cleaned my hand afterwards. Uh, June Bug Minis, first ever Hero Forge mini ever painted. Wow. Hero For so for those of you that don't do not know, Hero Forge is a create your own miniature. You go on there, it's a program. You can pick the different head types, body types, body positions, weapons, um, thematic from fantasy to sci fi. And then. Uh, order it and they'll send you your miniature. That looks amazing. Good job, Junebug. And Joshua with a Dwarf Paladin 3D print. Good lord. Oh my god. That hammer is monstrous. Very cool. Got a lot, a lot of gold on that guy. He's uh, bling bling. Blinging it out. Yeah, I can dig it. Good job, Josh. And Robert with a Krabby Crab People. Are those Meyer Lurts? It looks like it. This, I want to say these are from Reaper as well, because I think I got some of these. Um, but I, I'm not sure if, uh, Robert, if you're watching, if you could let us know where those came from. Those look amazing. Uh, so when I do D&D campaigns, I like to have either ice thematics or uh, nautical thematics. So I would absolutely use these in a nautical, nautical thematic uh, adventure. Very cool, Robert. Dust, ah, oh. was this, did you look at this miniature with me recently? Uh, I don't think so. Um, so the Infinity uh, uh, Shikami, uh, what, I don't know what that, what's JSA? It's part of the Infinity War, like it's one of the factions. Okay, for um, this particular min miniature it is like the epic s street samurai that I would play for like Shadow Run. Uh, granted, it is for Infinity, but that that miniature looks sick. It does. Uh, I I love it. Good job, Dustin. Uh, Del Coronado with a. Uh, Num. Mm. Uh, it's a dwarven rock star. Is what that is. That guy looks awesome. Honk. What? He's a honk. He's a honk. Yeah. Would you date him one now? It's would too you? Short. Too, short. Oh, too short. Too short. Would you? No. Mm -hmm. So Jason Acevedo from uh, Realmsmith uh, did the Frost Giant from Whiz Kids. He's pretty tall. And this miniature is ridiculously good. Good job. I love the bone on the the like the, the dragon helm. Uh, it's amazing. So this is the miniature that you were said looked like me yesterday. The one that the Frost Giant. Uh, Kevin St. Pierre with a Naga, I believe. Like uh, the half snake, half yeah, human cre creature. That's uh, the that's the one from Nist from um, Gale Force Nine. It looks like that uh, we just did last week. 
Good job, Kevin. Keith Compton with a Bosque the Gorn. So he took a Bosque mini from Star Wars and painted him in Gorn colors from Star Trek. Uh, the fact that the internet is still alive based on, on this being posted is it's just a miracle. Uh, but Keith, you did an amazing job. Brian King, some bones for, these look like some of the crypt uh, pieces for the graveyard. And they look great. Oh, he agrees with me. He thinks it's um, the crab people from Fallout, the Meyer lyrics. Oh. As I mentioned. As you mentioned? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, you see. I should have listened, huh? Yeah, I'm just Dang it. Smart. Larry uh, Hook in with some Star Wars Rebels commando, uh, commandos from uh, Star Wars Legions. Uh, they look amazing. And I'm wondering what kind of uh, camo scheme he's got going on there. It looks like the digi blue for the Navy. In, with some uh, green over uh, cloaks. Yeah? Does, it, does that what it looks like to you? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Larry. Uh, Joff Purcell, Purcell with uh, Hawkman and Mummies. I thought that said Hawkman. What day would you date him? Can't see that far. The Mummies look good I can, on the left, and then the uh, Hawkman. Um, that robe is ridiculous. God, it's so good. Yeah, good job, Jeff. Last one. All right, and then James Adam Penny with. Uh, Noom. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know either. If anybody can, uh, if anybody knows in the chat what the NMM is a uh, abbreviation for, please let us know. But uh, regardless, it looks awesome. Looks like some sort of undead, like uh, ghoul or zombie. Like creature, yeah, looks great. Good job, James, and good job to everybody. So if you're watching and you haven't done so yet, you can always go to Painting Happy Little Minis on Facebook and join our group there and post up your works in progress, your completed miniatures, and share all of your techniques so that others might learn from you. And if you have questions, there are lots of amazing painters, as you can tell, in the group that are uh, willing and uh, freely share their their uh, techniques as well. So go check them out. It's amazing. Non-metallic metal. Aha! Everybody knew what it was, but me. You gotta catch up, Dad. Uh, Josh from Mini Paint Studios. Wow, Dad, why do you never listen to us? <laughs> hey, James, have a great day. It did look like, yeah, that's what I was thinking too, is the, those crabby beetle things looked a lot like the uh, beetle creatures from the Black Crystal. Ish. The Myrlurks. Is that what they're called? Myrlurks? Yeah. Fallout Mile Works. One in Shiro said that the, the Warhammer ones were the Black Templar's captain and Emperor's champion. Yay. Yay. Cool. Nice. I can dig it. All right, so back to these. I like those hands. I like yeah. the the contrast on that. Good job. All right. What do I want to do? What are you gonna do the the, the mouth? Do you want you want some red, some blood? Okay. I'll wait for him to finish with that one. But he's Perfect. taking forever. Are he taking forever? You. Oh, I'm trying to more than you. It's not a competition. I mean, it is, but... It is. <laughs> it absolutely is. Yeah. So, for those of you watching, uh, Lucas is going to be staying the entire summer with me. So, he might show up every once in a while on some other stuff, maybe, if he behaves. <laughs> so, <No>. yeah, I <laughs> guess not. <laughs> But Linnea's got to go back for volleyball. I mean, next week you go back to conditioning, right? Mm hmm Sports. Can't relate. <laughs> Mom wants you to do volleyball. Well, you've done swimming before, right, Luke? Mm-hmm. And you do choir or chorus, right? Yeah. Or both? 
they're the same. Are they? They are. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you do chorus, and you you were in the same chorus, uh, the district chorus, right? Mm-hmm. That, um, and All City twice. And All City, which uh, Grant Gunnerson, I think his name is, the guy who plays The Flash on CW, was in that same uh, in-district choir in Virginia as well. Same one. Oh, cool. When he was in school there many, many years ago. So, who knows, maybe you could be the next Flash. Uh, <laughs> uh, nope. What color no? should I use for the teeth? So I, I wouldn't do the teeth yet. I'd let that all dry. And you're not going to use these particular paints for that. What? You're not going to use these. I have other paints here that you'll use for that when you get to that point. What I would do is I would look through and see if you can find like a gray. Oh, for the stones? For the stones, like that one right there. I think I want to make the stones like kind of like blood splatters or something on them too. Okay. That would be so cool. <laughs> I agree. It would be pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. I mean, not not overly cool, but cool enough. So for those of you that might have uh, a wonder, uh, Dave, our regularly scheduled co-host, uh, is on vacation with his fam, hitting up all the Midwest national parks. Did you say fam? <laughs> yeah. Ew. Is that not a word that they use anymore? It's not one you can use. You can't use oh, it. Oh, I'm not allowed to no. use it. Oh, okay. It's because you're old. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. So. This one's like black. Some like dark stones. You gotta spread it out. Uh, I'm trying. Yeah, there you go. Okay, this is. Cool. You look good. Why are there bubbles on the rock? That's the only you issue. You just gotta, probably because you, you, you're you dipping the, your entire brush into the paint. And I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. No, I'm not. I've been doing this. Let me see. Yeah, that's the entire look, brush. Look, I did boop. Look. That's you gotta doing. watch it go in. Look, watch. It's okay. It's a learning experience. Don't need to get frustrated. All right. So. It's. It's, just, it's just fake it. frustration for comedic relief, actually. Right, so look, buddy. Right there, that's all you need. I wasn't watching. Do it again. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Here, show him on his palette. Yeah. Then we'll see. Huh? Okay. So, when you dip in, you only need to get that much of the brush hairs. That's like that's how it. much I've been trying to do. It's all then the way up here. It's like, it's like you're so checking your oil, buddy. No. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. You know, just... <laughs> <laughs> Paint your blue man, all right? <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? All right. There we go. Josh, why are your siblings like this, huh? Josh from Mini Painting Studios. Your, your siblings here, they're always arguing, always fighting, as, as brothers and sisters will do, I guess. Is the dark crystal a kyber crystal? Oof, that's a good question. Uh, yes. <laughs> I would think it is. Huh? So, you know what a kyber crystal is, right? I do not. It's the crystals that are used in uh, the making of a lightsaber. Oh. Those. Yeah. Thanks. How are you feeling over there, Linnea? Pretty good. Yeah, okay, good. This is proving difficult, so I don't think I'll do those blood splatters. Well, you gotta let it dry. Once it dries, then maybe the blood splatters might be more. <laughs> this is so difficult. I think you're doing just fine. Um, but I see if I can find some white for when we're ready for that. All right. That's the only thing about the contrast on these bigger models, it takes a while for them to dry before you can get to the next stage. Oh. Mini Painting Studio says it's because I'm a nerd. That's Thanks. why you, that's why you two fight so much. <laughs> hmm. 
Um, and Richard over on YouTube also said non-metallic metal. Dang it. <laughs> God, Dad, this is supposed to be like your thing. <laughs> like. But what? You should know all this. No. You should. No. Study up, Dad. I need to get good? Yep. <laughs> You're a noob. That's kind of accurate. Hey, Josh Alexander's watching. Hi, Josh. Also known as Aqua Dad. You get a lot on your hand? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, me too. I got more. I win. You win. It's a competition. Always. It's always a competition. So if you guys watching have any questions for, for the for the two guests here, uh, ask away. Uh, it's funny how the guests are cooler than the host. <laughs> Well, at least one of them. Okay. Yeah, your sister. <laughs> okay, whatever. Accurate. I'm the one providing uh, what commentary and such. She's just sitting there. Painting. Her blue man. It's called painting happy little minis, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but you're also supposed to talk. It's a, it's a oh. thing. <laughs> thing. Whoops. Oh, look, I just talked. <laughs> Whoa, good job. Good job, Mina. You talked. Good job. It's spoken, actually. Is a kind of a I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, you guys are just funny. Whatever. I see my statement on Roku. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing we're trying to figure out is how to launch a Roku channel here. Don't know what that is. It's like uh, a streaming service. Oh, by the way, um, if there are any questions, m please direct them towards Lynette. She will gladly answer any right and all questions. Your, right there in that spot. Thank that's you. Right. And, and spin it so you, you're able to see all those. I am, I am trying to. Mm -hmm. Not very well. Go along. You're doing all right. Don't you dare. <laughs> Perfect. I know. I'm actually going to grab some of that as well. And use it on mine for the base. Thief. Yup. There we go. So uh, Thursday, we will not be doing Paint Happy Little Minis because it is the, the holiday. Um, but you might see some photos pop up on social media of some stuff that we might paint at home. Because Lucas is going to be painting all my miniatures while he's visiting this summer. You have so many. Yeah, they, and they all need to be done before you leave. Oh my God. Have fun. <laughs> so. Linnea should stay too. No, Linnea's got things she got to do. She had to prepare for her volleyball season. So you're staying here to help me paint my miniatures. Yeah, I've got to go lift weights. Yeah. So have fun with your bird legs. All right. I thought you said no. No like, insulting each other? Yeah. Well, yeah, you've had a hard time with that. There, you just <laughs> I have not <clears throat> been doing very direct insults. That was just an attack. <laughs> My bad. The ghost of Kurt Pearson has arrived. So Kurt's watching. Um, oh, Lucas, me. do you watch the Dolan twins? I love them. <laughs> Why? What are who are the who and what are the Dolan twins? Um, one of them was her boy crush a while back. Okay. Dolan. Oh my gosh! Wow. I do not. You should. So I should not. What about the Dolan twins? Is makes them entertaining? They're cringe. They are not. They're cringe. Okay, great. They can Those be. are great answers. Great, great. They can be actually. Yes. So what makes them funny, Linnea? If you watch them. They're not. They're just. When they hang out with Emma Chamberlain. Okay. They do some interesting stuff, so it's really funny. All right. Michael Harris asked, do they play D&D &D with you? <laughs> yes. One of us. Uh, Linnea has not yet. Lucas has played some D&D &D with me. We were in Ocean City, and he got his first game session in. And we're going to be playing again this uh, tomorrow, actually, at uh, Bel Air Games for Adventure League. We'll be there tomorrow night playing D&D. &D. And uh, it'll be Linnea's first opportunity to play D&D &D with us. 
Are you going to? Undecided. She's undecided. I'm so we need to help convince her to play. <laughs> I'm intimidating her. Into that, doesn't, that doesn't work. <laughs> that does um, not so. work. So she could just stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is the tallest here? Uh, Linnea is the tallest of uh, the two. Uh, Lucas is about a half an inch or an inch shorter. Not much. I'll and catch up soon. She's like a year and a half older in this time of year this time of our lives that matters so in that time in that time frame I should when she stops growing I should overcome her and then I will get back at her for flexing her height all these years <laughs> she is just she's used it against you for so long but I will be more muscular than you yeah well uh -huh. who cares <laughs> perfect she a lot of high heels or something yeah. well Linnea, how tall are you? But you're six what six foot tall now, right? Mm-hmm. So that means that you're five eleven ish. I don't think I'm five eleven. I think you are because he's you like five ten and a half. Okay. You know. Getting there, but for being thirteen and fifteen, that's those are those are pretty good numbers right there. Pretty sure the number for thirteen is way more impressive though. That's, uh, so Michael Harris says, uh, nice, pick up the new Essentials kit. It is the fun starter, no spoilers, but it goes well with the original starter box adventure. Ah, I actually went to Target to see if I could pick one up, but uh, they were sold out at my local Target. And uh, I probably will pick one up if we can find one before tomorrow as well. The Essentials. Yeah. Dad, you should have told me to do that. You know I can't do things on my own. <laughs> There we go. Your hands. That looks good. Yeah, looks really good. And we'll put these other two that are incomplete, just having fun. Carrot monster. Yes. Oop, he did. It's going down. There we go. Hey, Dad, you should say what you said before the. No. About like that being. No. Mm -mm. Huh? No. Well, then, can I say it? Nope. Why? Yeah. Because all you want to do is you want to make fun of your sister. She insulted me before. Oh my God. Yeah, I gotta get even. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna see how you can be bigger than her? Huh. Just be bigger. Can I have some yeah. high heels? Do you have any high heels, Dad? Just go put no water on you. Stand there. outside. Photosynthesis. Let me, let me see. That's not how that works. <laughs> well, it's gonna work. Do I look like I got chlorophyll? Yep. I ain't green. But you're very white. All right, there. I'll buy no chlorophyll. And that one dies. All right. So we just got to get Linnea to do the, her base, and then Lucas can do some touch-ups on yours. Get, you want to do some touch-ups on yours? Uh, you can you look good. if you want to. All right, I will. I'll actually do some touch-ups on both y'all's miniatures. Guess what? Good job, Linnea and Lucas. You guys did a great job painting and uh, behaving this episode. Um, <clears throat> Mine's better, by the way. Uh, Byron says he wants Lucas's miniature. And Kurt says, looking good, guys. Kurt was down, lives down in uh, Orlando area now. Oh, he's, I mean, if he were alive, he's just a ghost. Um, <clears throat> so very cool. It's like he's still watching us. <laughs> Always, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, so these are some miniatures. For those of you that uh, did not catch it in the beginning, these are some minis from the Cthulhu Wars game by Peterson Games. Uh, it is available now. These are some new ones that are going to be out uh, right around Gen Con, uh, that can be incorporated into the game, and uh, the miniatures are amazing. I have uh, only okay, so played the demo I'm of the monkey. game, so I don't have a lot to, as far as like yeah. the mechanics on okay, it. But so it was fun I'm playing monkey. the demo. So for those of you that like big monster miniatures in your board games, these are the. This, it's absolutely the game to get, and you can get it at your friendly local game store. <clears throat> my, uh, like I said, my my little ones are going to be here for the rest of the week. Lucas is going to be here all summer. Uh, so, you, like I said, again, you might see him some more. Uh, Linnea, what uh, what are some other big plans you have for the summer? Uh, that concert. That concert, which for the band is? Pretty much. Pretty much what? The name of their band. It's oh. Pretty much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. Thanks, man. Don't fist bump him. That's, that's what PewDiePie did, does, so you uh, just betrayed. Okay. Did, um, just crying out. 
So, and where's that concert being taken uh, taking place? DC. In DC. Okay. Cool. Anything else the big for the summer? Uh, tryouts for other travel teams. For other travel teams. Wait, what? But I'm probably gonna stay with the same team. Okay. Are you gonna try out to be at a, at a higher c competitive level or same? Just different age group. Hopefully, A team again. Okay. I mean, I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how that stuff works. All right. So, uh, again, thanks for you all being here today to help us paint, and uh, you all get to be entertained by the savagery that are my children. <laughs> so, this has been Painting Happy Little Minis. I'm Rick. What's your name? Linnea. Lucas. And we'll see you at a game store. Thanks for watching Painting Happy Little Minis. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.